All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bad End Theater. Today it is brute forcing our way through. I thought there was going to be a fourth trait for uh, underling, but we also found this letter last episode. Pause to read. Um. We are down to one ending for Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, 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 okay. Beautiful heroic. And I have an option here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do maiden first. Polite, obedient. Um, dutiful and heroic. Let's go. Skip. Introduce yourself. Skip. She lectures the underling that brought you here, who is apparently not supposed to leave their post. Mm hmm. Refuse to leave. The hero suddenly dashes forward to the, toward the overlord, sword drawn. Protector. You selflessly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. It's funny, you think? <laughs> you never could have imagined this. Would be the way that you die. The roles have been switched around, but it feels right somehow. You are glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out alright for your new friend. Shit. Okay. Okay, so Martyr is now an option. Yep. And then they off. Let her stay for a while. The maiden shouts something behind you. And you turn. Just in time to see her throw herself between you and the hero's blade. It pierces her chest and she falls to the floor, lifeless. The pool of blood beneath her grows, and so does your rage. This hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated. Your hatred for humans has not yet been sated. You go on to destroy them all, and become ruler of the entire world. So nobody? You rule nobody if you just killed everybody. Ooh, yes! A letter flutters down from behind the curtain. You found lost letter number four. Okay. Actually, no. Yes. I want to look at... What is this one? Trusting? There's another option here. Okay. So it's antisocial. You talk. Okay, so please from the demons. Antisocial obedient. Skip. Flee. Skip. He can't be trusted.
No. Believe her story. What the fuck? Is it because I don't have that one? What is that one? I knew there was a fourth one. What? Lord? What is that treat? Okay, what is this one? Heroic. And then there's a... Oh yeah, I don't step in front. Skip. God damn it. The hero's blade pierces the overlord, and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The overlord is slain. The hero smiles and holds out his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly you take his hand. The hero guides you through the castle past the corpses of all of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes to your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes. Even then, you can't escape the smell. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle, and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities, regardless. Complacent maiden. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, so that's... Two of them. Disloyal. So it's... Turns the... Me. Okay. So it's... What, what are my choices there? Me, so it's... She's antisocial. You leave. The hero is trusting. You go back to see the overload. 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 Skip. Introduce yourself. Skip. Hey. He's very surprised that the demons don't seem to be as malicious as you were raised to believe. The two of you return to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. They had all been so worried and are very glad that the hero brought you back. You quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers seem confused and look to the hero for explanation. He tells them that he only ran into you on his way to the castle, and that's, that isn't his, really his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the overlord and that she's not actually interested in capturing maidens or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel a little miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours, but you don't say anything about it. The hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demons himself, just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You hear words like trickery and demon sympathizer being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's insi that everyone's hesitant, this hesitant to believe you. Does this hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. The old man implores the the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner, 
and considered dangerous until hero the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because, of course, if you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. Sorry. The hero isn't saying anything. You'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's it's going to be the overlord, not your fellow countrymen. Leave on your own. You can prove yourself without anyone's help. You can make a run for the overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. But as you get closer, you start to notice the tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful blue sky. The castle is engulfed in flames. What in God's name could have happened? Would have happened. Sorry. Could have happened. You scan the fleeing demons, and the overlord isn't among them. Yep. Shit. Oh, I clicked a thing again. Okay, so... Damn it. Jesus. Um. Excuse me. Obedient. Uh, trusting? I do something here that leads to the Lord end again. Okay. So, that's... Right? It's antisocial, obedient, trusting. Okay. Your friends return to notice. Oh, you and your friends turn to notice the maiden from earlier uh, has overheard your entire conversation. It'd be bad for you if the Overlord found out about this. Captor, toss her in the dungeon. You and your friends seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty for the de for the decorative skull, save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make it feel more spooky. <laughs> the maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. And now a hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about a maiden, perhaps the very one you just locked up. The gatekeeper, who must have, been, must have seen everything, tells the hero exactly what happened. What an idiot, you think. Why give the hero an excuse to start slaying, slaughtering us? The hero yells, prepare for, to face justice, and the other... such cliché hero lines before driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. You're small compared to a lot of your friends, so you're unable to slip away without getting uh, cut up by, the, by that sword. You get to thinking, if the hero took down the overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. You wait for things to die down outside before poking your head out. You spot the overlord and hero not locked in battle. They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening, opening presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? You don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. You tackle her and rip, rip her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. You finish off the hero next. You can't let him revive 
and come after you um, come after you later kind of a cheap victory but it doesn't make any difference anyone who managed to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places you are the new ruler of your castle and your shepherds is about to bow before you great Puppet Master. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So what that means is now I can get Disloyal and Captor from okay. Trusting Nope. Leave on your own. A suspicious group of demons stands just outside the entrance. They're talking about assassinating the overlord. They immediately notice you and over notice you overheard them and decide to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause them any trouble. You cry out and the demons ignore your protests. You can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown in a, st in a cell back in your village, only be tossed in this awful place. <sighs> this is terrible. Who's going to keep those demons from harming the, harming the overlord? You hope she can find fend for herself. You sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. Did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries can't your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You continue to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, you rot in your cell. Reset stage. This is just the way it has to be. They suddenly attack you in that moment. You regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. <laughs> Shit. A letter flutters down from the on the curtain. You found lost letter number two. Okay. So I'm finishing out. Hero heroes end. So it's begins his story. Dutiful, dutiful. Overlord is upset. Heroic. Martyr. Cool. You lunge forward to put, a, put an end to the evil overlord, but your blade pierces the maiden instead. She has sacrificed herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The overlord wails. Why did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. The Overlord strikes at you in a vengeful rage. You parry and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands, your clothes, blood, so much blood. You look at the fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why would she protect the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by demonic magic. You pick up the overlord's head, wrapping it in your cape, and begin your long journey back to town. 
You will say that you were too late, that nothing could be done for the girl, but the Overlord is slain. There will be a celebration. I have one ending left. What is it? Captor. Okay, so trusting can lead immediately to that, and then captor. This land captor. Let's do. So, what all needs to be done? It's antisocial. Obedient. Trusting. Okay. Obedient. Antisocial. Nothing. Fantastic. Flee like a coward. Tell you believe her story. Um. What? Okay, but... Oh, he has to be at least one or the other, or both. Okay. I'm a dumbass. Flee like a coward. Believe her story. But you were too late. Through the... Unguarded gates, you spot a group of demons surrounding a body. The maiden, she was a fool to have trusted the demons after all. Your hero blood is boiling. You'll avenge her death. You charge through the gates to eliminate every demon you see. What the fuck are you doing? Killing all my soldiers. The overlord is angry. You vow to exterminate her and all of her demon kind. You clash again and again, but the overlord isn't going down easy. You're both dangerously low on health when everything goes black. Your quest has come to an abrupt end. Dude, what the fuck? A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number one. Letter collector, hell you! Not coward, captor. Yep. Run. Believe her. When you reach the gates, you ask if ask the demons if they've seen the maiden. They have. They inform you she's being held in the dungeon at the moment. She trusts them, and in return, they lock her up. So demons are truly evil beings after all. You demand they take you to her. But they don't but they, but they do not let you pass. You should have expected as much from these unreasonable creatures. You know what you must do. You trust your blade thrust your blade through the demon before you and rush the castle alone. You're the only one who can save the maiden now. What the fuck are you doing killing all my soldiers? The Overlord is angry. You've had to exterminate her and all her demon kind. <laughs> yep. Yes. Okay. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this. It's unreasonable. Cruel. I had to find an outlet for this grief somehow. So I decided to write. And I'll keep writing. Until the day you find me once more, and then, maybe, we could write a story together. I'm waiting for that day. Forever yours. Tragedy. Uh. Oh my god, what if we're comedy? What if we're comedy? And he's writing to us, and he has no idea. My love, I finally fulfilled a childhood dream of mine. 
Yes, that's right. I opened up my very own theater. You would be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side on opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you. But I thought if my theater could just become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it. Wherever you are. Forever yours. Tragedy. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh no. I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed for the stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. I hope to see you again soon. Forever yours. Tragedy. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, my heart. Do you remember when we first met? I'm sorry. My love, do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact. As I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? <laughs> you were so rude. You wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet... You managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However, unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day, even now. I wonder if, somewhere, you're thinking of it too. Forever yours. Tragedy. <laughs>